You've seen this video on social media, a light rail train slamming into a car in downtown Minneapolis last night. That crash was caught by dash cam video by another driver. Sharon Yu is live near the intersection of South Fifth Avenue and Portland Avenue with the latest on the investigation. Sharon. Well, Julie, Randy, yesterday's crash left one person with critical injuries and six others with minor injuries, including some folks who were on the train. Metro Transit says their investigation is ongoing. Meanwhile, this is the first crash that has happened since a change in Minnesota law in 2019 that holds light rail drivers to the same standards as Minnesota motorists. Dashcam video from a Reddit user shows a white Acura traveling southbound on Portland Avenue. The Acura accelerates to make a yellow light, which is legal. But by the time the car makes it to the tracks, the light rail train traveling eastbound has already made contact. I panic. I don't even want to hear it. It's Bonnie Faber was hit by a light rail train in October of 2018, also downtown. And I, I thought in my head, oh, there's the street I need to turn. And I look ahead and there's two green lights. And I think, great, I'll be there in five minutes. Then a crash and a blur. She says she came to to a pedestrian. I hear this woman yelling at me, but you had a green light, you had a green light. And I looked at her and I said, I did. Faber says nothing came of her case from 2018. She didn't want to fight it. This was before the statute change in 2019, which Chad McKenney fought for on behalf of Nick Westlake's family. Westlake was killed after a light rail driver ran his stoplight and crashed into Nick's car in 2017. The red light for a train driver is a horizontal white line. So that was clearly observed on the traffic cameras of the accident and the light rail driver drove through that sign killing Nick, Nick Westlake and severely injuring his fiance Nellie Petkova. While circumstances surrounding last night's crash are still under investigation because of Westlake's case, since 2019 light rail drivers are held to motorist standards. This is a good first step to hold people accountable, but when you're driving a train one would assume that you may have a heightened standard of care. Something McKinney calls a small step forward. Metro Transit says all the operators who were involved in yesterday's crash are on standard administrative leave and they say as they look into their investigation, a part of it will involve looking at the signals and what exactly the light rail signals were showing at the point of the crash. They say that investigation may take several weeks. Julie. All right. Thank you, Sharon.